whenever I、um, do a talk with the students is, I'm like, who has an iPhone? Okay, so if the folks who design the iPhone have to worry about where the water comes from, where the wastewater goes, or can they turn on the light, they won't have time to design your iPhone. Do you think they have the time to do that if they have to worry about carrying water? No. Inherently, it's a very satisfying type of work to know that you're the cornerstone of civilization, as we know it. It's fundamental to human life, especially with you know climate change and the drying out of the, really the entire West. Once you flush the toilet, you don't want to know what happens to it. But there's a lot going on behind the scene. The treatment of the wastewater costs more than water treatment. So this project is to replace aging infrastructure. So currently on the island,、uh, there's a treatment plant already. So the plan is to get this built, switch over to the new plant, and then decommission that plant. This does help with、uh, the increasing population in Treasure Island. It's supposed to increase by 20,000 residents by 2036. We have a local workforce requirement where we're actually employing a high percentage of, of people that live here and local small businesses that are part of the project. It's also part of a, a bigger motive with nutrient reduction. First and foremost, this is one of the very first、uh, nutrient removal project that's embarked by our、uh, the client and the owner SFPUC. We'll be removing nutrient, so the load in the bay will be reduced so such a way that there's a less potential for algae bloom. Project consists of Title 22 recycled water, so more than half the water、um, is going to recycled use here on the island. That's through irrigation or、um, for toilet flushing water.、Um, the other half is the the wetland component, which is treating the the storm water before it goes into the outfall.、And、we're using advanced membrane technology, which provides a smaller footprint but also a higher level of water quality. So the city has adopted a sea level rise action plan. That means that if we're building a pump station, we want to ensure that electrical components are not on the ground floor but higher. There were solutions that we discussed and had early alignment on with Stantec and the owners to raise the whole site by 36 inches. The island itself has been elevated in order to account both for sea level rise as well as the sediment in this area. The site is a greenfield site, which is pretty rare. So it's actually all clean construction until we introduce、uh, process flows when we're you know past the commissioning stage. So those green sustainable elements are you know carefully considered and documented as part of the Envision Goal accreditation. And this is going to be a very early one of a kind Envision accreditation for a wastewater treatment and water use recovery facilities. So it's rewarding in that sense, and I think a lot of people、uh, have that same, you know,、uh, feeling.